Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Extra Human. I'm so glad you could join us for this little expedition into the world of Hades. And by Hades, we mean the video game. <laughs> This game, Hades, is my current obsession. Firstly, it's a superbly well-made game. Go play it. Like, yes. buy it on Steam or something and play it. So there's a lot of sex appeal in this game. For shits and giggles, we're going to be ranking the characters of Hades by overall hotness, by sex appeal, bangability, if, if you, you will. will. <laughs> <laughs> so we have five tiers. Top tier is worship level. You immediately see this character and you get down on your fucking knees <laughs> and you pray. Deem me worthy. I am not a holy man. Second tier down from that is heroic. You have heard of their mighty deeds. Their reputation precedes them. Right in the middle, we have, I accept. You know, like you're swiping through Tinder and you get a match and like, they're okay, but because they matched, it's like, okay, easier to just go with this than to try and keep hunting down, whatever. You know, I'll take this boon. <laughs> it's not the one I wanted, but it's gonna be fine anyway. I accept. That's a good one. When you compared it to the boon, I was like, yeah, okay, that's much more relatable. People swipe right on me on Tinder? What? When? Where? <laughs> so that brings us down to the next category, the painful way, which is, I don't know, self-explanatory. <laughs> and then at the very bottom, there is no escape. You get dragged all the way escape. down to hell with this one. <laughs> so, without further ado, shall we get to the rankings? That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. He has the most intense beard and eyebrows. Like, I know there are people who are into daddy types like Hades, but I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm definitely, like, low-key into Hades. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be a gosh darn shame if somebody with tree trunks for arms were to just give me a big old crushing hug? And impale you on his what? walrus tooth beard. I thought you were gonna talk about the other thing. I wonder if his dick twists like his beard. Pretzel dick. That would imply he has two He's dicks. Where am I going with this? Okay, so what you said you're not really into him, so should we just put him under I accept then? When you're encountering Hades, it's always the painful way. He's, yeah, and he's such a dick. He's a huge <laughs> dick, always putting you down. He is an abusive top. Oh yeah, that's not good. We'll put him in the painful way. You recognize your uncle, do you not? Do you see the little squirrely chest hairs on him? No. Oh my God, he does. I think he's the only one with chest hair. Incredible. Despite I, that that, that exquisite embellishment. I'm not super into Poseidon either. To me personally, there's nothing sexy about Poseidon. He looks like your uncle. He gets up at the crack of dawn, goes surfing, comes back, smokes a bull. You hang out with him and like, that's it. I get the sense that he would be pushy in bed and that he smells like seaweed. My vote is on the painful way. Yeah, I've got him <laughs> on the painful way. He, don't, he doesn't shower after he goes surfing. Some people might be into that. Keep at it, lad. Fight like I fight out I there. adore him. <laughs> oh. Achilles ain't bad. I would put him in worship in a heartbeat. I love him really? so much. Yes, absolutely. I would accept Achilles. I suppose that would shove him into heroic because that would be an even split between I accept and worship. I'll take that. I mean, he is a hero after all, so he deserves to be in heroic. Fine. Life isn't particularly fair, short one, nor death. God. Uh, he sounds like the lead gargoyle or like the beast, Mufasa. Oh. It's the same voice actor for this guy as, as Hades. He's like a young James Earl Jones. Logan Cunningham, you have an awesome voice. Thank you so much for giving Ugh. us a taste You're of your talent. You're an absolute fucking treasure. On that note, where are we ranking this sexy beast Asterius? I would say heroic. At least. I feel like if I put him higher than heroic, I'd out myself as a furry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't have that. Heroic it is, I guess. Nice place you got here, boyo. Fucking Danny DeVito. <laughs> I know a lot of people got real heavy into like shipping sands with everybody and like drawing like fan art of him. So I know Skelebros like get it. But like. The fact that the skeleton is somehow balding makes this <laughs> even creepier. He is automatically and there is no escape for me. Yep. I think I'm ready for that now. Can you believe that Skelly that's the same fucking and voice actor. Zagreus are the same fucking voice actor? Like that same mouth produced those two different voices. The guy who voices them is uh, Darren Korb. Yeah, he's also the guy that does all the sound and all the music. Like he is 
the sound of oh, super giant games. That's right. Anyway, enough gushing about real people. Can we talk about how hot this main character is? <gasps> he is precious. I don't know much about him as a character yet because I'm still very much in early gameplay because I've been playing with a mouse and keyboard like a tool. Depending on who you might pair him with, he's got real brat energy. Incredible. Like, it seems like it. He seems a bit bratty. I would put him under worship. Agreed. Worship. Lick, 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 lick. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. She's so smooth and collected. She really is. She's so pretty. I really like her voice. But I also don't get much of a sex vibe off of her. I don't know. Yeah. You'd have to wine and dine her considerably first. Yes, absolutely. I'd put her in I accept. I feel like I would agree with you and put her in I accept. We accept, Athena. Hell yeah. Swipe right. Murderer. Murderer. <laughs> I feel like she falls really close to the Skelebro area where like there are definitely people out there who are like, yeah, to Symphony, get it. But I'm like, yeah, to Symphony, get the fuck away from me. I wonder if this game is huge in the Skelebro community. Oh, that would be an interesting thing. She's a solid there there's is no, no escape for me. Absolutely not. Solid. Nope, 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 nope. Zero nope, fucking nope, escape. Nope, no, thank you. I've been waiting for this. Really? The painful way? I would even dare say to put her in like heroic. I <gasps> like her voice a lot. Uh, so that puts in her in I accept then because that's between heroic and the painful way. Indeed. We accept Electo, but we might regret it later. Greetings there, young man. Zeus is in the host. <laughs> Everyone in ancient mythology's husband and or dad, and or dad husband, and or brother husband dad. I would put him in worship, no lie. Really? I am so weak for like <laughs> big beardy men. <laughs> all right, all right, live your life. Uh, my vote would have been on the painful way because Lord Zappy Zap, I, I'm not into pain. He looks like he's a pain inflictor. I would, that would, I would, Ow. I would say that brings him down to heroic then. Okay. Also the fact though that he's such a fuckboy. He's the biggest fuckboy <laughs> in like all the, the cosmos. He's the biggest fuckboy ever. And you wish to leave this place. Oh my god. And it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. Okay. Isn't Chaos's design just crazy? So his design is super fucking cool. Sick design. Sorry. Pronouns for this oh. character are they, them. That's awesome. Get that. So where do we want to rank them? Oh, gosh. Um, I would be honored to have any sort of experience with this being, be it sexual or otherwise. Like, they could blow my entire mind apart in ecstasy or agony or both. And you would say thank you all the same. They belong in the worship category. They, they belong in worship, yeah. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. There's something sadistically seductive about that voice. I don't know how I, I feel like his, with his character model, I would put him in accept. That's yes. where I'm about to accept. I am so convinced that the painful way is the only way to go with the God of War. <laughs> how pleasurable do you expect the sex to actually be? <laughs> be honest with yourself. Well, I mean, if you look at like, at the act of sex, like, like uh, a type of war, then like, and he's really, really good at war stuff, then who's to say he's not really, really good at sex? Like, you know? Maybe he's seductive. You don't know, he could have a flirtier side. He likes mimosas, maybe kick his feet up. Like. Stop trying to rehabilitate war criminals. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, Ares is firmly in the painful way. Moving on. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. <laughs> Look at those gams. You seen those gams? Hello, Thionysus. Just put my head right between them and I can live there until I die of alcohol poisoning. I adore his hair. I would put him in worship, actually. Oh, fuck yeah. I worship <laughs> Dionysus. Uh, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blaggard. I love how they make him say blaggard. <laughs> he seems like such a tool. <laughs> That's because he is. He's like so cocky. I get such a young Republican vibe off of him. 
<laughs> I was gonna say I put him in I accept, but so where where would you put him, knowing that you think of him as a young Republican? <laughs> if you had asked me before 2016, I probably would have put him in I accept, but now just the painful way. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I almost made me feel like he should be in There's No Escape. Oh, you want to rank him lower? Bye, Theseus. <laughs> Bottom level for you. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. I love how the voice clip literally has her going, I'm not like other girls. Where would you put her? Because I fear that I might put her too high. I mean, I really like her Princess Mononoke, Peter Pan sort of energy. Like, that's a whole vibe. My vote is heroic. Okay, that's where I was going to put her too. Do not despair and hold to your resolve, child. I want Nyx to read me a bedtime story. I want her to like run her fingers through my hair and just be like, everything will be okay. Like this may be your end because you know, you've met Nyx, but like <laughs> it will be okay. You may be in fact dead, but you'll be fine with it. Get you somebody that makes you okay with being dead. She's like, come hither, darling. Come sit on mommy's lap. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at her. She's probably a fucking beast in bed too. She definitely doesn't wait around for you. Nah. -uh. That's for sure. I would put Nyx in worship, like, <laughs> easily. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Nyx, automatic worship. For sure. Why, hello, hello there, little god thing. You interested? I love her voice. I just like how playful it is. Her voice is all right to me. I don't know how I would feel about being called little godling in bed. I little mean, godling. it depends if you're into that kind of thing. Just having like someone talk down to you. I'm into her vibe. I love her playful attitude. I love the playfulness that they put in her character. She's designed to be sexy, but that's so weird because I don't see a ton of sex appeal in her. Like whatever, she's naked. She's got it. Maybe we're just not like sapphic enough like yeah we might not be sapphic enough she's okay she's man fine. like she's okay she's fine. i guess oh, the oh, you want to talk to me me oh wow oh wow i can't stand how like cute and small and scared that little warble in her voice is so i don't cute. i don't know how i love her so much but that in my opinion puts her in there is no escape <laughs> <laughs> Poor I, I feel so bad. Like her design is the youngest looking of all the characters. And like, she's like, she's like a chibi. Not to mention a disembodied floating Gorgon head. Yeah. I'm sure the internet will be creative about it and stuff and going about doing that. She'll get rule 34. Doesn't matter. Yep. But not here. Not now. She goes in there is no escape. There's no escape. Sorry, Dusa. Now you can turn back like a good little man or I can send you home the painful way. Oh my god, she's totally in worship for me. <laughs> when she said little man, I'm like, <laughs> listen, I, I like makes me want to stamp my foot and be like, no, makes me be such a brat. Where would you put her? It's either the painful way or worship and there's no in between for me. So if you want her in worship, I have no choice. I will go with it. Wash up. Wash up. Wash up. Hey, Princette. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here. Oh no, Michael's other type. Just large, gentle sounding men. <laughs> I would probably put him in worship, no lie. Like at first I wasn't sure from his worship, character really. design. So maybe heroic? I would say probably heroic. He's got like this sort of naivete about him. Like he's just, he's just a simple guy. You know, he just really gets into his work. <laughs> as long as he's not only into missionary, if he's only into missionary, I'd move him down to I accept, I guess. Nah, surely he wouldn't be. <laughs> Surely not Sisyphus. Surely not Sisyphus. <laughs> this is based on absolutely nothing, but all right. <laughs> he's under the impression he's as bright as ever. He's such a little lickable Gemini twink, and I want to fucking munch him up. I feel like he would be a little bitch sometimes, but for me, Hermes is a solid heroic. Definitely. Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. <laughs> to me, he kind of sounds like Yakko Warner. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Oh, he kind of does. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. La, 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 la. I want to put him in heroic, but like, you've done me dirty. Ugh. If I may say something in your defense, apparently so much of the rest of the fandom agrees that Hypnos is like a stealth hottie. He is. Like, I've seen several cosplays of Hypnos. Oh my apparently God. this tired looking twink has got it. He's the tired looking twink that I aspire to be. I may personally have like the tired looking twink thing down. Like I personally just don't think that's attractive. Like I don't, I'm not into looking like a tired twink. 
but some people are into that. Some people like eternal dark circles under one's eyes. You know what? That's valid. Whatever ranking you want to give Hypnos is fine by me because that's a good reflection on me, <laughs> I guess. I would say heroic. <laughs> Aw, you're sweet. How wonderful to see you here. That's an interesting character. Do they have pronouns listed in the game? Uh, he, him. Oh, okay. I thought it was a woman. That's why I asked there, pronouns. There are not a lot of gender signifiers going on there. Because he's not really my type anyway. I would put him in the painful way based on who we have in I Accept. That was my first thought too. On further reflection, I'm kind of like, oh, it probably wouldn't be so bad. It would just be like effortless kind of depressed sex. <laughs> Is it painfully depressing sex? That's a good question. All right, I would take him and I accept. We are here for depressing sex. <laughs> Apparently. Zagreus, is that really why you think I'm here? He's got like this snotty little uke voice. <laughs> I just hear Snape. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Part of me wants to put him in worship because I am I find him very attractive. I think his character model is super, super attractive. His voice is kind of like heroic to me. Really? I wouldn't have pegged his voice as his most attractive trait. It's kind of like normal gay boy voice, but that's just the voice. I love his hair. I love his little nipple hanging out. I love that he wields a scythe and like is all deathy and stuff. All like, deathy and stuff. I don't know. This is the right kind of goth vibe for me. <laughs> I'd happily throw him in heroic. Okay. Nothing's accomplished without risk, isn't that so? Patroclus. Patroclus who has a special relationship with Achilles. A special relationship, you say? I can see why he is also incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> Where would you put him? Um, Where did we end up putting, I guess, heroic too, because Achilles, like, he would be in worship in my opinion too. Yeah, I would say Patroclus is no higher than heroic because I feel like you have to have like a whole therapy session with him first before you can get to the sex in. Oh goodness. I moved him next to Achilles because you we were like, he has a special relationship. And I was like, they're best friends. <laughs> oh, just best buddies. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're just, just guys being dudes. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? I love her. Her voice is sublime. Like, I would put her she, in worship, no lie. She takes out. your guard down right off the bat. Like, as soon as she's talking to you, you're like, can I be your best you friend? You have my full, undivided attention. Worship? I put her in worship, yeah, for sure. So we have Demeter next. <laughs> Demeter. Isn't is her name. No! 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 It was the one that I thought I knew! Cause like, isn't the fucking cat thing from Cats Demeter? Is it Demeter? I am pretty in cats? sure it's Demeter in Cats. Well, they fucking got it wrong because in the game they pronounce it Demeter, and I've always known her as Demeter. Just going back to like learning about Greek mythology. I was mythology so excited whatever. because that was the one. Who the one, fuck says Demeter? That was the one I thought I knew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I speak two languages. I speak two <laughs> languages. I don't have to put up with this. And yet I can't say anything in either of them. So that's fine. If Demeter is hard, you can just say that old bitch because she's old a bitch. crusty old lady. Crusty, crusty as in like, cause she's also rude or just, cause she seems like she aged she's elegantly. She's like, she's the old lady that doesn't give a fuck. She's like, life is hard, tough <sighs> shit. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Demeter would freeze your dick off just for the lulls. <laughs> Joke's on her. I would probably put her in the painful way. Yeah. Come, speak quickly with me, that our time together here may be as full as possible, all right? She's so pretty. She is pretty. The thing is, is that she's kind of a spoiler character. Yeah, that makes sense. And like, she only appears at the end. She's so. only a spoiler if you don't know anything about Greek mythology. <laughs> I feel like I would put her in the painful way. What? Uh, because that's also where we put all of the, like, almost two familial characters. Like, Nyx is the exception. Really? Like, she ended up in her Because I feel like, or, yeah, I feel like Persephone is, like, perfectly acceptable MILF material. Look at her. She's got some tricks up her sleeve. She's got some tricks in those okay. pockets. Look, her dress is I, fucking I'll pockets. Agree. I just noticed. While I disagree and think she should be in the painful way, we will scooch her up to I accept. Because she does have mad MILF vibes. Yeah, I can see that. Very well. Then how about this? You can decide all on your own where you want to put Karen. Immediately in There Is No Escape. I don't even need to know more. 
And that's the end of the video, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Don't even give you a chance to explain anything more. Just that's it. He's scary. All the Skelebros can hang out together <laughs> in their pit of oh, there is scary no people. Watch there be like fan art that comes out later and it's just like, all right, yeah, okay, maybe I'd bang some of the characters I said I wouldn't like. If you have different opinions, feel free to comment. Tell us if you think we ranked something wrong, let us know. Be sure to tell us why I want this to be a fully litigated debate that tears apart the fandom. Absolutely. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you like us, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Michael, the monster under your bed. And I'm Garrett, the fairy that is off to the Panolympic orgy town. Stay extra, everybody. Stay hydrated. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.